Hey guys, my jam. So I just did a short March 18th. So I just got a card from the SPCA. And it's really sweet of them to do, but at the same time, I feel really sad now and crying. <laughs> I was doing so fine. And then I got this card. So everybody signed it. And uh, it says, we wish you to know that the entire staff at the SBCA hospital joins in expression the sympathy for the last of your beloved Josephine March. And I think they just did Josephine March because she was the most recent one. And she was the last of them. But I did take speckles and hope. <clears throat> to the SVSA to be put down, so, yeah, it's really sad and making me cry, <laughs> as you guys can see, but it is really sweet that they did that, so I'm going to put it up on the shelf soon, but, yeah, I'm not going to do St. Patrick's Day stuff anymore if I, because it's pretty much over, so, um, I was picking vegan cupcakes with you guys, and then I got this card, so I was like, I can't do it anymore, <laughs> can't do anything, I'm just too, <coughs> too, too depressed still, and, uh, yeah, so, I did take a shower, though, and I did put the stuff outside for recycling, but, I don't like being around family when I'm crying, <laughs> or like this, I'm just, too depressed, so I'll just do laundry tomorrow. I have my Two Shadows shirt on because it's hot and stuff like that. So I'm wearing lighter clothes, but yeah, it just broke my heart. Seeing this because it's been two weeks, two, two weeks, almost three, and I'm doing the funeral on Thursday, so... <laughs> That, too, it's also kind of bugging me. And then yesterday, coming home, like I was saying, two cats were out at nighttime, and they kept following me home. They were so cute. And then another cat <laughs> came by the window again. Uh, the neighbor's cat. Uh, can't remember his name now. But he used to always come by to see Hope. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, seeing still, it's still hard to see cats, but at the same time, I think they're kind of curious, going, What happened to the cats? Because <laughs> they keep coming by my window, even this morning, this afternoon when I woke up. <laughs> So yeah, I don't want to cry, but it's hard not to, um, so that's why I'm just going to eat and go back to bed, and then I just woke up, but this got to me, so it's like, yeah, I can't do anything. I almost didn't want to wake up today, but then I got hungry, so <laughs> I did. And, like I said, the world does not stop because you're depressed. Um, I had to get the recycling out. And, for tomorrow. So I did that, and then I started on the cupcakes, and like I said, getting this cup. It just, uh, made it worse. So, I still want to get a new cat, and I'm still trying to declutter and get through stuff, so that's why I'm like, I'm going to take a break from cooking and baking, because I can't concentrate, I can't do anything, you know, but eat and sleep. 
I don't know if you can see me crying, <laughs> but yeah, crying quite a lot, so. <sighs> but it's very sweet of them to do that, and thankful, but at the same time, still very, very depressed. And, like I said, I still have a counselor that I've been talking to. But there's really nothing you can do about it except for uh, trying the best you can. Even my counselor says that. She says, well, you can't do anything. Just go eat and go to sleep. And then get up again. So, that's what I do. <laughs> but... This card kind of made it worse because I'm so, so depressed. Like I was saying last night, I keep, people think that I look like I'm fine and, but I'm not. I'm just pushing through because God wants me to keep going. So I'm going to keep going. My brothers want me to keep going. My cats want to keep me going. I got to get this place into shape still and all that but I do want to make vegan cupcakes or Irish well I guess it's not really Irish because no, there's no whiskey in it but I'm going to try making them anyways but I'm just going to wait till later to do that um, I just put all the dry ingredients together and then I'm just going to leave it for now I you know it's it's very difficult to uh, keep going when you feel like crap, and I still gotta make bracelets, and I still gotta do stuff, but I just haven't been able to. The only thing I've been able to do is cook and clean because that's the thing that I love to do most, and I'm hungry, so I gotta eat. <laughs> that's what woke me up. I've been uh, playing the same music over and over again, as you guys know from my videos. It's the same Living Memory Project playlist that I have. But that's, again, this is why I don't want to get a new cat right away, because I'm not ready for a new cat. But <clears throat> I think all the cats kind of know what's going on, so they keep coming around, just to check up on me, I guess, <laughs> that doesn't make it any easier, either, it was so cute, though, it was a tabby cat, it almost looks like this cat in the card, and a black cat, and I was going to film it, but it was too dark, and I was like, why do people let their cats out after 7 o'clock at night, and they were so scared, but, you could tell that they belonged to somebody because they were so nicely groomed. But yeah, I wasn't gonna. But they were following me home, but then they took off. <laughs> so I wasn't gonna bring them inside because they belonged to somebody. So. But yeah, just when uh, things get rough, you just gotta do it. You can, and like I said, I'm never going to give up. I sure how I feel because it's part of my life, and you guys have been there through the whole thing since Hope got sick, Beckles got sick, and then Josephine. So, and I know a lot of other people too are grieving the loss of something, and they they tell me when they see me sad, they know that they're not alone but all you could do is just keep pushing and keep going and keep fighting because they would want you to 
I still read when tomorrow starts without eating. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... Take a break, go back to bed. Like I said, I really wanted to do laundry and really wanted to spend time with family, but I don't want to be crying around them. <laughs> I'm too tired and mentally, physically, emotionally exhausted right now. So hopefully tomorrow I'll feel better. But hopefully I'll just take a nap and then get up and then finish what I started. But yeah, St. Patrick's Day is technically over, but I still want to make the vegan Irish dishes, so I'm just going to share it with you guys when I make it, but I won't say it's St. Patrick's Day, because St. Patrick's Day is over. I didn't even really get dressed up for St. Patrick's Day. I haven't had the, the will to get dressed up and put my makeup on and get changed and get into sexy outfit because I feel like crap so <laughs> but I have old photos and I still have outfits so I did at least I tried to celebrate it was really hard to because I always celebrate with my cats and I'd always put them in the videos with me or dress them up <laughs> But can't do that anymore, so. Yeah, just. Unfortunately, I'm not doing well. But like I said, I do have my counselor. It's just that it costs money. So, I don't talk to her all the time. We're just, uh. And like I said, a lot of counselors keep telling you all you could do is really push through it. You gotta feel how you feel. And then eventually, in time, it gets better. And you gotta do things that will help you to get better. But it's still pretty recent. And putting down three cats in two years is very difficult. Technically, it's one year, but because it was last summer, I don't say that. And then the way that I got attacked, that didn't help. That's the other problem too. It's like people can't see how hard it is to make that decision and then they just keep bothering you. And it's like, it's just making it worse. It's not making it any better. But thankfully, since uh, it happened, nobody's been bothering me about it. So I am very thankful about that. But I also had to block a lot of people that I know personally and on YouTube and on social media but it's also people that you know personally so yeah people need to start having more compassion I think <laughs> but thankfully for you guys you guys still support me and it does help to talk about it what I'm going through so you guys know why I'm not really around it's not that I don't want to, it's just that I am physically, mentally exhausted. And that's why I'm going to eat and go back to bed and hopefully feel better later. So I will talk to you later, but I am very thankful that the SPCA did send me this. Because it does really mean a lot. And... Um, I'm going to eat and go to sleep, and I'll talk to you guys later here on Phantom Stories. <sighs> Trying to move on without my cats. It's not easy, but I'll get through it here on Phantom Stories. <laughs>